it's brow time. I'm gonna show you how I grew my brows. I'm using this for the first time. I couponed it for two dollars. <laughs> it has all the little attachments. It's got um, the extra trimmer for your your brows. You're supposed to be able to like put the thing over top. The one for the face. The one for the bikini line. A razor and even the bag comes with it. I'm only going to use the blade that it comes with, um, and then the little like regular blade comes with a battery. That little brush, I did not use it. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna moisturize my eyebrows with the same stuff I put on my body. It's uh, Nivea cocoa butter, and then I'm just gonna go eyebrow to eyebrow, or whatever. Um, this video is not sped up much, only on like one little part, and showing y'all real time how long it really takes me to grow my eyebrows. I grow my eyebrows in a way that makes it easy for me to just pencil them in. I'm just showing y'all the blades because it's one little blade on one side and then one longer one. I ended up not really using the little side because it wasn't doing nothing. I'm gonna be real with y'all. It wasn't doing a darn thing. So I ended up using the longer side. The thing that I don't like about this is that you have to hold down the button. I wish you could just press the button and it just go. It makes it harder for you to, you know, multitask, I guess. You have to be able to hold it down and focus on where you're doing this because don't pay attention right and you're going to put off your eyebrow and ain't nobody got time for that. So yeah, but I only focus on the underneath. I don't really do the razor at the top much at all just because it could mess up the way I get your arch will grow back in. So I try not to do that. Um, and I remembered my spoolie for a second. Like I needed to groom them to get them together. So sorry if you hear any break background noise. I'm trying to make sure I can get this out today. So I just came to the most quiet spot I could find. <laughs> to do this voiceover but yeah i'm just showing y'all brow to brow and i'll be right back I end up coming in and using the regular blade because it wasn't getting it close enough for me. Um, and then Ayana decided she needed to burp after eating and did not want to burp for me to forever. So that's why this part is sped up. And she just was, you know, calm. Just like, yeah, I'll do whatever I want. <laughs> because that's what babies do. Then I'm gonna go ahead back in after this. I put her down and I'm gonna come back to my other brow. I ended up having to re-moisturize it because it is pretty much dried up. Um, I don't know if it's necessary for a blade like this, but I just prefer to moisturize that area because that's how I get bumps and stuff out of my eyes and pimples. And I don't have the beach chips for that. Um, ain't nobody got time. And like, I know people have that issue when they get waxed and stuff. I have never had my eyebrows waxed. I don't have a desire to get them waxed. I have had them plucked before. And then I like with the, the needle, I said needle, plucked with the thread. And then I have um, used a tweezer for myself. I'm like losing what the thought was. I've used tweezers on myself before, but it's just so tedious. And I'll be messing up and gripping my skin rather than gripping the hair. And then that creates red spots underneath my brow. And it's just like, ain't nobody got time. Um, but yeah, on this other brow, this is my problem child. So that's why I do go above on that one so a little bit and get around the rim. Um, it just really bothers me and it still doesn't do what it wants. Uh, and I also decided to get my little mustache. 
Um, and you be thinking that it's not enough in there, but then when you actually hit a razor to it, you be like, dang, I really did have a mustache. Like, don't lie. Everybody got one. Like, it's okay. Don't gotta lie. I'm just gonna go ahead and I was gonna use the power one, but I was like, nah, I don't wanna do that. I'm just gonna use the regular razor. I think I'm gonna use this to get the rest of my facial hair on my face, because you know that's like the trend right now. And then I'll definitely use this for my bikini area. But for my brows, it's not really necessary. They had that little extra piece you could have put on top of my brows are not that long, so I don't need that. But yeah, that's really it. I just go in and clean that. I'm gonna show y'all how yucky it was, how much hair was really on it. Always clean your blades anytime you do any type of thing on you. Um, because then that makes them dirty, rusty, and unsanitary. And I'm just going to wipe everything off. Um, I end up washing my face again after this. And then I do like my real moisturizer routine to get my day started. But yeah, that's how I do it. And then it makes a, a really good base for me whenever I fill my brows in. Because I fill my brows in like every day. Like I, if I'm going outside for more than an hour or so, I fill my brows in. It's just a matter of if I use a pencil or if I want to actually use my pommy and make them look like, you know, Instagram popping brows. So, yeah. This it or whatever. Brows is percolating. Arches is somewhat similar. And that's it. I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.